Jack Chats, rolling along Mallory Mattingly of Volleyball with me today. Mallory, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do let's it. Try. You are a volleyball player. When did you start playing the sport? Ooh, I was 15 when I started playing. I was a kind of a late bloomer. I was going to say, that feels late. Yeah. You know, what, what drew you to it? Um, I played in middle school, or no, freshman year of high school, and I was terrible. Couldn't hit the ball inside of the court to save my life. Couldn't serve to save my life, but I was like, I kind of like this game. It's pretty fun. I get to smash stuff. I get to block people. I get to cheer as loud as I can and play with five other people in the court. Wow, a success story as a late bloomer to volleyball. Myself, on the other hand, never managed to hit the ball in the court. So I guess <laughs> some of us are able to overcome some of those early uh, deficits. Mm -hmm. what, what other sports did you play? You're, a, you're very athletic. I know you played some other things. Um, so I really enjoy playing basketball. I love that sport. Never actually played it on a team though. Um, enjoy watching soccer, playing soccer. I kick the ball all, or, all, all the time with my brother. But um, I used to race motocross before I played volleyball. Yeah. Really? Okay. How, yeah. how, does that, how do you start in that? Uh, so my dad used to ride all the time and he got me my first bike when I was nine okay. and then literally just from there learned riding in like this like basically open a grass area just how to do everything and then took me to the track and that was it. it was go 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 ever since so there's a sense of daredevil tied into that would oh, you say yeah. you enjoy having that kind of accelerated uh, feeling of excitement momentum oh, being yeah. afraid oh yeah just being able to fly over jumps like 110 feet it's crazy it's amazing at the same time you ever like jumped out of an airplane or anything oh no i hate planes hate them <laughs> okay. i am fearful to get Scratch on planes that. yeah no no planes for mallory <laughs> no planes. she will not be skydiving anytime soon no uh, here at JU, you're now in your senior year. You've had a chance, obviously, to see this school inside and out for the last several years. What's your favorite part? Oh, man. Favorite part of JU? Of the whole school in general? Or yeah, athletics, like, or? Uh, I mean, what, what about JU do you tell people when you say, I love this school because blank? Man, I'd say I, just because of how much at home I feel here, but also just the growth that JU has had as a whole, like just to see the whole rebranding process last year and then to see the administrators change and grow and grow into us as, as athletes as well and pour into our teams as well. Like it's truly remarkable to have that type of support here from that you're not really going to get anywhere else um, at any other school. So I think that's like one of my favorite parts of JU for sure. Now you've, you've hit some career milestones, you're approaching a few others. What? What do you attribute to some of the individual success you've had in your career? Well, first off, what few others am I? Aren't you close to Diggs or something like that? Am I? Think, I? I yeah, had no I idea. So. Oh, well, I'm just been playing. Get down on the floor this well, week. Yeah. You know, I need to get some. All right, you got it. So what was the question? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, how, how have you managed to get so good? I mean, obviously you have some natural talents, you have some gifts, mm -hmm. uh, but but what separates you from you know everybody else that plays this game? I hate talking about myself, but honestly, like, I live and breathe a game of volleyball. Like, when you have me here at season, when you have me here at school, you have all of me. It's not just, I'm here, I'm, I'm gonna give you I 100% when I'm on the court. Like, no, it's every single day. Like, in on the court, off the court, you have me 100%. I'm here to do what I'm supposed to do, and that's play volleyball and help JU get, get a national championship or a conference championship. And um, it's just work ethic, wanting to get in the gym, wanting to be in the gym, extra reps before or after practice whatever it may be watching film like that's a huge piece of being able to humble yourself and watch your errors and watch how you can be better it's i think that's just how i've been successful over the years for sure i don't want to fast forward too much for you here but, but what's next for mallory after after the season concludes after you graduate from here so the ultimate dream is to go back home uh, work at my church um, and then personally like train athletes off the side and be able to help get them ready for the next level and get them ready for the elite level and give them an opportunity that I had here at JU. What about uh, Jacksonville that stood out to you during your time here? I mean, it's a unique city. You're not necessarily from here, but you're a Florida native. Mm -hmm. So you've seen how it's similar or different from mm -hmm. other Florida places. Yeah, I just think it's the diversity here in Jacksonville. Like you have so many different areas. You have, you know, you have Riverside, you have downtown, you have San Marco, San Pablo, you have Neptune Beach, Jacksonville Beach. Like it's just totally different yeah. like wherever you go. Like it's not the same area, even if it's just five miles from each other. It's kind of, it's weird. Like never had it like that before, but also an awesome city to be able to do stuff. Like you can do anything you want really in Jacksonville. There's so much to do. Everybody's got kind of a sanctuary on campus. Where is yours? 
my room. My bedroom. <laughs> Why is that? I don't, it's just my place where finally as a senior, I've got my own room, so I've got my own little space where I can decompress from practice. I can, you know, read my Bible or do classwork or whatever it is. I don't have to go out or see anybody. I know it sounds terrible, but I'm kind of an introvert at heart, so I need my alone time and my safe space. As an extroverted introvert myself, I very much understand where you're coming mm -hmm. from. And I also appreciate when I can go home at the end of the day and decompress oh, a little bit for sure. myself. She's Mallory Mattingly, volleyball. Thanks so much for taking a chat and a walk with us today. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it.